Just hang telling fibs back there. Harry Potter, or no, not Harry Potter. Hogwarts Legacy, that's what it's called, has gone live. We're going to give this a, uh, give us a little bit of a try here. Ooh. If I get to name my character, his name's going to be Jerry Trotter. It's already been determined, so um, this was determined a couple days ago. Uh, ba, 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 ba. High contrast text. Ooh, nah, no, nah. Best of all that later. Switch sticks. No, I do need my uh, airplane mode. We'll mess with that later. All right. Fidelity, high fidelity rendering mode, favoring resolution, graphical quality. Um, bum, bum. I do prefer. I mean, it's we're casting spells. I don't know if like quick. This isn't Call of Duty. I think it's not Call of Duty. Uh, yep. Except without reading. That's how we do it. Uh, link my Harry Potter fan club stuff. I will do that later. Doc Art Pack. I've got some stuff and some things. Battle Arena is accessible in the Forbidden Forest. Once you progress the main quest line far enough to leave Hogwarts freely. Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, Sword of Scottish Goys on the Black Hippogriff. Claim. 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 Okay. Make sure not to lose detail in the shadow areas of Okay, modify the user interface so uh, the text on the screen remains readable. It is readable. Oh, okay. I will have to get up in a Can you let me know any taps? Okay, thank you. Uh, not to over brighten the image, causing loss of detail. Can we, uh, I'm just gonna leave everything as it is. Hogwarts Witchcraft School of Wi or School of Wiz Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Y'all could read this while I'm letting the dog in. Except as a fifth year student. And term begins September 1st. Preliminary supplies will be collected for me and will accompany me on my journey to the castle. So I may be aware of the decrees for a reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to my unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow all. Professor Elzar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Damn, there's some detail in this game. Look at that character design. All right, what screams Jerry Trotter? Jerry, where are you, Jerry? You're not Jerry. You are not Jerry. You are not Jerry. Um, this is the closest contention that we have for Jerry Trotter.
With a little bit of character customization, you could be Jerry Trotter. All right. Does Jerry Trotter have glasses? I think he does. Yeah, but they can't be round like Harry Potter's. They're a different shape. Like that. There's only three glasses options. So would it be those? The little half moon ones? Okay. And... Okay. Hairstyle. He's kind of looking like the guy from... Uh, Fly the Concords a little bit with that hairstyle. Did you see that hairstyle? Yes, I see it. Okay, let's make it sure. You weren't looking. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fabulous hair. Definitely not Jerry Trotter, but that is fabulous as hell. Uh, definitely not Jerry Trotter. Could be, maybe. Nothing like over the face. That's a little much. Yeah, maybe on the eye from that time he got in a fight with a with a thing. No. No. Light scar. Just that one. Right there. Above the eye. Right across the eye. He can still see perfectly out of it somehow. Eye color. Okay. Uh, we'll go with that, and I don't need any crazy colored eyebrows or does Jerry Trotter even have eyebrows? He doesn't have a unibrow, that's for sure. Thick eyebrows, for sure. Uh, different voices? A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I'm gonna go voice one. That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be con. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That was quite something. We'll go with that. All right, and first name Jerry, last name Trotter. Dormitory, wizard or a witch? Oh, that is a tough choice. I think my description does say you're a wizard. 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 Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. Almost, not quite though. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh, <laughs> Elia 
Professor! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Eleazar. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. The old pile of rocks. Blimey. He's just shrugging to nothing. I think I just now realized I am not even on the screen. Too far in to fix this thing, so this will be a uh, this may be an audio only. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Kiss ass. Have you seen this? The Goblin Rebellion. I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait. We did it. Oh shit.
night. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. I'm trying to work through the technical difficulties of the camera. And, uh, I'm not going to get too hung up on it. This will just be a my voice only experience. But we'll let the game do the talking for the most part. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you the think... port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she. And now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Okay, now I'm here. Mind your step. I think the... where did I put myself in the top right corner here? That seems to be the least intrusive area. And while I'm also out this, I need my airplane controls. We all know I need my airplane controls right there. I just... let me, just let me fly my plane. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. I'm following. Possibly. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Like Jerry Trotter. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Paul Wall was Let's here. see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Tap right trigger to perform a basic cast. Boop. Boop. Stop. Excellent. Excellent. Use your camera right stick to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same thumbstick by disabling camera rel. Okay. As opposed to what? We'll find out. That 
was a bit rougher than I'd expected. I mean, it's just a little slide. There's not even... Yeah, there's a few rocks. That probably hurt. All right. Can I... Bam! There we go. Get the hang of this already. Bam! That one, too. Just okay. ahead. Okay, I guess it's a little bridge. Steady yourself. I'm steady. Seems out of place. And he's out of place. It's good. This is a hat. Minimap shows your surroundings with the your purple arrow in the middle of the this yellow destination things. Current objective. Press the hold up to toggle quest objective details. Professor Fig and I have traveled via Port Key to a remote cliffside in the Scottish Highlands. We need to explore what the mysterious ruins that we suspect the Port Key was meant to lead us to. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm, perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. This may have been his home. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocked? What's this? Professor Fig! Is it whispering a Jerry Trotter? Jerry Trotter. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Well, where are we? Hello? Is this Green Guts? I knew one thing. I know my stuff sometimes. It can't be.
Uh, just a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> no way of here. <laughs> to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. Yes, yes, yes. <coughs> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? Blue White's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. To you. Uh, keep your hands inside the cars if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> <laughs> to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Are we racing? No. Be careful. Professor, mm -hmm. the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that guard mm -hmm. back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. the last time this vault was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Oh. I saw an item there. I was going to get it. I didn't want to. Thank you for your help. There we go. I can check. Fifty four gold dollars. Euros. What do you suppose coins. we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Yeah. Sir, I wonder if you might. The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Back. Uh, Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. 
perhaps. Revelio. Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Steady your wand with the left stick and guide along the symbol's path to learn to spell the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol's path. Interesting. Oh, so I gotta, I gotta outrace the red thing. Okay. Bam. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got the, got it, get it, go. Punk. Revelio. Revelio. Bam. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Sh -ch -ch -ch. A Pocket door. Sand. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Everybody point left! <laughs> This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Revenge. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Yes. What happens if I don't stay close to Professor Fig? What if I stay far away? Bye, Professor! I'm hiding. I am the danger. You let your guard down! Bah! Alright, you were quick that time. I suppose I'll follow you. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir, I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. Mm -hmm. It is. The reflection's still there. But the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. All right, steady your wand with a left stick and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol path. Here we go. Woohoo! And skadoodle. Required a wand lightning charm Lumos, which has automatically been added to your slotted or automatically been slotted to your spells set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in the dark areas. Hold right trigger and tap Y to cast or extinguish. Lumos! Well done! Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh! 
Tego my own damage coming in stuff. Oh, I got hit. I push the button. You gotta do it like at the last minute. That's what it is. Oh, okay. You're. I timed that right, but you're just gonna kill him. All right. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Just trying to do a challenge here. What about you? What about you? Ah, uh, bright trigger to destroy statues in the face. Stay close. Okay. Professor. Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Uh, we're gonna Lumos. Lumos. This bitch. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, that's where they're leading me. Glow All right, and then we do Revelio. Revelio. I'm on my own this time. Lumos. And then we Lumos it up. All right, so you stay locked in once you're locked in. All right. I have to get them all at the same time. That's what it looks like. So right there. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Well, I bring need to it. align these statues with their reflections. Hold Y during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefied counterattack. Stun enemies taking extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Hold Y during Okay. Protego! That's a little bit weird in that the counterattack doesn't go to the person that hit you necessarily. I pushed the button. The Y button was pushed.
Lumos. did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. Ooh. I wonder... Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. Foreshadowing. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have... 
he did not choose wisely. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. I ain't giving you shit. Mm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Super convenient warp portal. Oh. I mean, port key. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? It can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. And I'm strolling in as a year five, and I guess I get sorted. And that's the game. Thank you all for joining us. <laughs> oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? My turn. I'm up. Jealous. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly rumors. losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch.
Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Aren't you? You come here with preferences this and preconceptions. Got lice from that hat. I think of all the people I've worn that hat. Expectations. Um. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Yeah, forget mm. the classes. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mmm. I wonder. Mmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of. Mm, Actually, I wanted to pick the What is it? I take that back. Uh. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Um, which is probably what I was going to pick regardless. Yeah, two questions. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, I'm sure it's just making recommendations. You, you belong whatever you in want. Slytherin! Sort who makes it. Complete the introduction and finish the sorting ceremony. Bam. Together we shall know the world, my fellow Slytherin. Oh, and one yes. more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Oh, that's how they write out the Quidditch. <laughs> Enough. Someone got, someone got hurt it's in Quidditch, not as though so it's I've like Quidditch cancelled the whole season. <laughs> but don't tempt me. Come to the front you of are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. What does that mean? Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Oh, hell yeah. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Like a little half smile at the end there. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Can I save game? I can save the game. 
I can save it in that empty safe slot right about there. And that will do it for this stream of Hogwarts Legacy. Just came out about the time that this stream started, about an hour ago. Uh, thank you all for joining. Scare Pan Attack. We will continue this later. With possible guest appearances by Hank and Max. But until then, y'all be nice to each other and make good choices.